This short video will show you how to use the editor of tmultiRes bitmap property in Delphi IDE. The editor helps you in loading a number of pictures of different sizes. Let's start from a new mobile app project and set a t-image on the form. Then we'll find this magic property in the object inspector. We are going to select many pictures to support better quality in resizing. For the first time, the custom sizes are set. They correspond to a unit scale factor. For the next selection, the picture will be stretched or squeezed to the set sizes. The idea is to add different pictures to match the sizes better. We can set default sizes to fit the current sizes of the image. Why do we need multiple pictures? Because automatic resizing of a single picture won't give you good quality, especially for small images. We can use the original sizes of the picture. No stretching or squeezing will happen in this case. So the resulting image will be quite ideal. You can add some different pictures to the collection for different scale factors. So we are pressing a button, selecting a file with a picture using a dialog, and then we can set the custom size and enter proper values. And all over again, as many times as many pictures we are going to have in the collection. The multi-res bitmap property editor is very simple and intuitive. If we change the sizes of the t-image component, the most appropriate picture will be loaded. Of course, if we build and run the application, the results will be as we construct the collection in design time. To make things faster, we can select the files with bitmaps right in the file explorer. Drag them onto the property editor window and drop there. All the bitmaps in the selected files are accepted by the editor. It is extremely effective if you have your collection ready beforehand. Let's see another benefit of tmultiRes bitmap property. This approach is essential for mobile app project targeted to devices with different scale factors. The application will show again the most appropriate picture depending on a specific device. For Windows it is 1, a unit. Otherwise, for this device the 1.5 image gives the best fit. For a Retina device we need a scale factor 2. And we've got it! If you need to find a specific element in a collection, you can use Structure Pane and Property Editor. You can also open and use many editors simultaneously. This feature gives you a full control over the pictures in your collection. But if you are stuck to Object Inspector, you can do it in a classic way with L Bitmap Editor. Again, the first button adds an element to the collection. The second button deletes an element while the required elements are erased, not deleted. The third button loads the same picture to all the existing elements of the collection. This will save resources for resizing at runtime, but increase the app size. With transparent color combo, you can define a color which will be used as transparent for the picture. You can use the parameters to change the picture upon loading by the fourth button. The fifth button deletes the bitmap file specific information from FMX file. You can change the panels in the editor and new proportions will be restored next session. With this editor, you'll manage as many bitmaps as you need. 